For this question, your instantaneous reaction needs to be that this is a great arithmetized question. And the reason is that, look, we are given a, a, an equation with three letters, x, y, and k, that's a lot. We're asked what's happening to k, and we're told things about x and y, but we're never told to solve for them, right? They don't have specific values. We just know that x is positive, y is negative, and we're trying to figure out what's happening with the whole equation. Well, don't try to think about it. Just show it. Pick some numbers that follow the rules and see what happens. So if x is positive, we can say that x is 1. If y is negative, we can say that y is negative 1, the simplest things I can think of. Now I've got to really be careful though because if I lose a negative that doesn't mean that I'm going to get the arithmetized right. I need to make sure that I'm putting things where they're supposed to go, right? So 1 is the value of x, negative 1 is the value of y. I'm going to put that in parentheses so I don't lose the negative. And then again, negative 1 minus positive 1. Put that in parentheses too. So what's happening? Well, okay, on the top we've got 2 times 1 is 2. Now negative negative is going to be plus 1. And on the bottom, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So this is 3 over negative 2. Now what does that mean for me? Well, if I look at the answers for k, I don't really care what k is specifically supposed to be. I, it's all just about positives and negatives, right? It's not 0. It's not undefined. And so if it's a negative number, that means k is less than 0. So choice A is the answer. You could get this just conceptually thinking about it, but I would not trust myself. The SAT is too good at what they do. They're very good at making your logic seem in your head really, really perfect, but then something you're missing, you know, causes you to get it wrong. So the numbers don't lie. That's the, the whole idea behind arithmetize is if we are forced to think conceptually about algebra, we are more likely to make a mistake. But if we have numbers and we can do arithmetic instead, we can prove our hunches by just seeing what the numbers do. Arithmetize whenever the algebra looks confusing.